I will firebomb your house if you do that. No, not literally, but no. Well, it looks like Bukowski's got a bit of an axe to grind. Hey, I know you. No, you don't. Hey everybody, welcome back to L.A. Noir. I am your host, Willie B. Coyote, and in the last video we made a name for ourselves as a patrol officer, and now we're a full-blown detective assigned to the traffic desk. Before we continue, let's get the self-promotion done right out of the gate. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow and hopefully get paid as well. Also, make sure to hit the notification bell on your way out so you never miss an upload. And without further ado, let's get into it. The driver's seat. Here we go. Here we are. Newly minted Detective Cole Phelps, LAPD. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. Mm. This is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the mm -hmm. money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. <laughs> I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? He's intense. The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Mm -hmm. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. All right. Who was that? Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. All right. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division, welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know. <laughs> yeah, Phelps. yeah. He's the Thanks for the warm the welcome. Store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. All right. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Mm -hmm. I did my best, Captain. Why you war heroes always so modest? I'm partnering Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm gonna start you out with one case. Do okay, I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the P.E. Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. Okie doke, here we go. I don't care. I don't go in for letting gangsters off scot-free. Here we go. They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. Yeah, I just got lucky in the case. Well, to be honest, I just looked up game facts, but <laughs> yeah. What did he say? You know this place? Sure. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. All right. I'll direct. Okay. Here we go. Gonna try to follow traffic because I'm. This is uh, LA Noir, not GTA. I'm trying to. I'm a cop, you know? All units of 459 just occurred in 6th and Saras. Any unit to handle, code 2. Identify. So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Mikowski? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was a shipping guy. Went to college at Stanford, did two years ROTC before Reno CS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant, fought in the Okinawa campaign. Was wounded, shipped back home, did a year on the beat, now I'm here. 
So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now, let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No. You were up there all night, draped in the flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready, finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Mikowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe from the Yeah. Now I get it. Unfit for service. Fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riots. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. I did six years as a patrolman. That's the third time you've told me. Well, looks like Bukowski's got a bit of an axe to grind. Sure, that probably won't end up being a problem later on, but eh, who knows. And the business. We call this foreshadowing. I haven't played this game, uh, this is my first time playthrough, you know, so... I don't know how the story's gonna go, so... Yeah. So, for all of you watching at home, do not spoil it for me in the comments below. Like, if you do, I will, I will firebomb your house if you do that. No, not literally, but no. FBI, open up! If I stick with the traffic laws, this is probably gonna take a while. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock! I'll probably, like, just stick in, like, a transition here until I, uh, get to where I need to go. Alright, here we are. Pacific Electric Freight Depot, 1120 AM. Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. All right. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. Okay. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. Alright. Investigation music plays when you enter a crime scene or a location of interest. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car. Probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Okay. Let's investigate the scene then. Stay for it. Let's take a look at the trunk. See what we can find. Examine this. Receipt for a live hog. Picked up a live pig yesterday. For a Mr. F. Morgan. Hasn't given me anything to go on. Still though. There we go. Let's talk to the coroner here. Doc. Detective. What have we got? A lot of blood for a blunt force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. Yeah, I just looked in there. Oof, that's uh, that's pretty grisly. Victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. All right, let's take a look. Glasses. No sign of damage. And let's just make sure, though. Okay. Let's take a look. Photo. Happier times, I guess. Guessing that's the victim. With uh, presumably his wife. Right. 
32 years old, married, sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Okay. Right. Oh, I think we have our murder weapon. Brand name might give us something to go on. Insta heat. Don't think this is anything. Smash packet of cigarettes. Right, let's check back over here one more time. You can really tell that I'm uh Sorry if I'm not really, uh, speaking all that much, if there's much dead air. You know, I'm really just trying to... Oh, here we are. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired, by the look of it. Okay, so that's another detail. It's always important to remember, as Jack Reacher says, details matter in an investigation. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Um, I think I've got everything I need. Should be able to... Question. So what next? Have word of the witness. It's not often we get eyeballs in a case like this. All right, let's speak Sir, with him. I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured mm -hmm. I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Okay, uh, purpose of the scene. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Okay, I think he's telling the truth here. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Okay. Knowledge of Adrian Black. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Right, it's important to pay attention to body language, and, you know, I think he's being pretty... You can tell that he's probably being straight with us. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars are parked here regularly. So it kind of stood out. All right, contents of the wallet. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Do you That's want down. the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even chain. Alright. Uh, Bloodstained pipe. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Alright. Uh, I think he's telling the truth again. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Look dry already. All right. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. All right, I got yeah, four out of four correct. Man. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. If you're done here. We'll head over there now. Uh, I'll speak to the officer here real quick. We're going to notify the wife. You seem to have it under control here. Yeah, I got this. All right, so, uh... All right. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. So, where you want to go? All right. Now he's going to drive for us.
That's a really uh, ominous loading screen there. It's very, very film noir. Black Residence, 11.29 a.m. All right. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Just a minute. Okay. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. All right. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Insta-Heat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Okay. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. I think she meant... First, I'm going to check out the water heater and see if we're going to... I think she said it was outside the kitchen window. I swear, if I spend, you know... It's really, really long time just, like, walking around, trying to find... Two thousand years later. Ah, here we are. Are you just leaving the thing half finished? Yeah, this is pretty much just a puzzle here. There we go. And finally... There we go. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Yeah. Looks to be about right. Let's head back inside, see what we can find. I am really loving the music. And, you know, the fact- I'm really glad I chose the option to play in black and white because it's really helping immerse me in the whole idea that I'm a, uh, uh, film noir detective. Let's see if we can, uh, look around. Okay. Take a look. See to Adrian. My Adrian. This thing gets more and more interesting. Love sick and lonely without you. Hurry back, my darling Nicole. Amogus. Okay. This must be Adrian's. It's, uh, Stenzel. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. Okay. 
take a look. A used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. All right. Cavanaugh's. Cavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Maybe Adrian was a patron. Aren't I should have an address? Okay. All right. Let's head back into the kitchen again. See what else we can find. Okay. Insta heat. I wonder if someone in the house bought this unit knowing how they would use the parts. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, make sure we got everything. Sorry about that, folks. I accidentally axed out of the game while uh, while I was uh, investigating something there. So let's take a look. All right, Alienus Fontaine provides help to troubled vets. Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. So, your friend of Courtney. Yes, Doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. What's he doing there? to take you on a journey a journey back i want you to remember the good things about your past occasions that made you laugh times that made you smile okay that was suspicious all right that should be enough for now Uh, um, according to this uh, guide here I'm following, I should have everything I need. Let's take a look here. Separate bedroom. Separate pictures. What gives here? Yeah, this is a bit odd. Admittedly. Like, what is this? Freaking <laughs> I Love Lucy? You don't find that suspicious? Yeah, I already checked that. Hang on. So, yeah, sorry if there isn't a whole lot of. If there's a whole lot of dead air when I'm doing this uh, game, you know, uh. This is a game that does require a lot of, uh, paying attention to details, and, you know, I think I should have everything I need. Let's, uh, take a look at our clues so far. You can open up, you know, let's see, I got a concealed message, I got the glasses case, the Kavanaugh's matchbook, the train ticket, the, uh, NC Heat receipt and flyer. Let's, uh, go question Mrs. Black. I'm alright now, detectives. Okay. Let's ask her about the uh, receipt for the slaughterhouse first. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. Mm. I think she's probably telling the truth. 
What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Okay. Alibi for Mrs. Black? I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. I think she's probably telling the truth. I mean, like, uh, she seems really distraught about this whole thing, so I think she's telling the truth. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. Okay. Photograph sign, uh... So, try the Stenzel glasses Did case. Did your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. All right, go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. They looked terrible. Okay. Let's try the location. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. Okay, I think she's telling the truth. Nothing out of the usual, then. Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Okay. Let's try the photograph sign, Nicole. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. This is bullshit. She got kind of defensive there, so. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I've told you what I know about the picture. You sure about that? Hmm. Let's see. The concealed message. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a fling. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. Yeah. This is definitely hurting, hurting her a lot. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. Okay. So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, Detective. All right. I'm at a loss. Grab the phone. R and I could run down an address for Kavanaugh's in no time. All right. Grab the phone. R and I could run down an address for Kavanaugh's in no time. All right. Let's uh, hit the phone. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps badge twelve forty seven. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's Bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks. All right. Got what we need? Let's roll.
We'll also have uh, Bukowski drive this one. Can you drive to this one? <laughs> Do we know where we're going? Yeah. Bar frequented by Adrian Black, set destination. Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. Mm -hmm. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type. Stranger things have happened. Yep. Go to Kavanaugh's bar. See what we can see. Kavanaugh's bar, 11.45 a.m. Hey, I know you. No, you don't. <laughs> hey, I know you. No, you don't. Let's uh, talk to the barkeep. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's your regular. He's a loner in the back. Alright. Boy, let's take it some better day. J.W. Robinson. Frank Morgan? Who's asking? Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. Mm. Okay, that's suspicious. We found Black's car, abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, okay. I like Adrian. He, he's a good oh, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. Of course I don't believe him. You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? Well, let's take a look. Um, we need the receipt for the live hog. You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Ah, location of Adrian Black. Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. Oh yeah, he's definitely not telling us everything. Doubt. I'm tired of your shtick, Morgan. Spill it! Or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. He's holed up at my place. He's waiting for some money to come through before he blows town. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. I think that's all. Thanks for your help, Morgan. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Cuff him, let him go. It's up to you, Phelps. There's no way I'm writing this idiot up. Mm. Something funny about the clam chowder. Hang on, I gotta take a second. I'll be right back. Few are objectives. Now we just gotta investigate Frank Morgan's apartment. So it turns out all that pig's blood was that blood was just pig's blood and uh because uh You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Uh where are we going? Alright. Eleven K, go ahead. Message from Tactical Services. Blood found in the abandoned Lincoln at the PE freight depot is not human. Repeat, not human. Well, shit. And that confirms it. Analysis reveals swine as the most likely man. Swine. Hey. Roger, KGPL. Time to reel this guy in, Phelps. All right, Morgan's apartment, eleven fifty-one a.m. And we go. Place out. Come on. Help you, gentlemen. LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. No, I you're not. Tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from LA. I won't put up a struggle. Just let me get my things. Why do I get the feeling that uh, he's not going to? Phelps, go after him. I'll try and hit him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. 
All right. There's no point running, Adrian. All right. Hardcore parkour. Get back here right now. It's over, Adrian. Stop right there, Adrian. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. Uh-huh. Yep. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up and you learn from Bukowski here, you can go a long way in this department. Yeah, and I think that's a good spot as any to end this video. Uh, thanks so much to everybody for tuning in this week. Uh, I really appreciate you guys uh, watching my videos. Oh, and by the way, I just hit 63 subscribers recently. So, uh, and, uh, I'm getting close on the road to 65, and then hopefully 75, and then hopefully 100. So, uh, yeah, I really appreciate you guys liking and watching my videos. So, uh, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support. Help me get my channel monetized. Help me grow. Help me get paid, you know. And, uh, be sure to tune in next time. I've been Willie B. Coyote, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!